our next item of news, I want to talk about the Apollo Masters Fire. Now, vinyl as a music format has been seeing a resurgence for 10 or 15 years now. In today's digital world of music streaming and convenience, there's been a rekindling of this desire to physically own and interact with our music. Though records are popular as ever, the industry didn't exactly evolve with this resurgence in mind. Despite its comeback, there are several rather weak links when it comes to the vinyl industry as a whole, and nothing has put this on display more than the catastrophic fire at Apollo Masters last month. This is a day that everyone in the vinyl manufacturing industry has feared for years. Apollo Masters Corp. was one of only two places in the entire world, the other being in Japan, that produces the lacquer discs used in the process of creating records. After three hours of burning and the work of 82 firefighters, the flames were eventually subdued, but not after burning down a crucial piece of the physical music industry. Now, thankfully, nobody was harmed. But this could spell bad news for the vinyl format. You see, the creation process begins with a certain kind of aluminum plate covered in lacquer. Now, that lacquer is soft enough to be cut, so when it gets shipped to the cutters, the audio grooves are sort of carved into that lacquer coating. That gets used to make the master, which is a plate which all the pressing plants will use to make the actual vinyl discs. But Apollo was responsible for like 80% of these lacquer plates for the entire world. This leaves only one remaining factory capable of doing this. That means only one point of failure for the world's supply of wax. People in the industry have long worried about having all their eggs in one basket, and this disaster shows precisely why. This means there's a good chance that pressing plants will start closing. Current production schedules have been completely displaced, and it's still unclear how the move will affect MDC, which is the remaining plant in Japan. There is a potential short-term solution, though it's a controversial one. There's another way of creating these masters called DMM, and that stands for Direct Metal Mastering. Now, using a rare type of cutting head, the audio grooves actually get cut into copper instead of lacquer. However, this technique has its own drawbacks. Many plants don't currently meet the strict standards required to produce such masters. And some people say it produces brighter sounding records with more high frequency content, and this may or may not be desirable. This can also negatively affect North American pressing businesses because most of these DMM plants are in Europe, and they could start fulfilling orders right now. That would shift much of this business overseas. And then there's the fact that this plant existed in California. Rebuilding a factory involving chemical processes to make vinyl records would be very difficult today because of the strict environmental requirements that the notoriously picky state would impose. It was likely grandfathered in on things that would be nearly impossible to get away with in Cali. So yeah, don't panic. Vinyl production isn't suddenly going to stop but this does cause ripples throughout the industry and it draws a big circle around an obvious vulnerability. Now surely the gears are already turning with smart people coming up with clever solutions to this problem. Post in the comments about what technology will save the future of vinyl. Is it DMM? Maybe it's something like 3D printing or some new technology we've yet to see. Well, one thing is for certain. We should continue to buy vinyl if we want vinyl to keep on spinning.